This is my McDonald. P Roy. We got J Tech today. We're going to be pulling off DTC pounds on this freight liner. First thing you want to do is connect your penetrated to your J1939 plug. Well, that's what we're using today. Power on your code reader. You want to select your pins, whether it's a 6 point or a 9 pin, a 6 pin or 9 pin. This is a 9 J1939 can. You connected it. You hit read. It's, un oh, it's unable to read. Have to have the truck on. It's reading right now. Give it a moment. All right. Um, there we are. It says that we have eight components. Oh, and eight fault codes. What you're going to do with this? With this particular one, you're going to want to go to the menu. You want to view your faults. Oh. Yes. Yes. Sorry if you guys can't see this. There we are. Alright, so the N action code 1 of 8. Your headway controller. It says the primary vehicle data network is erratic, intermittent, or incorrect. Second code, your headway controller. With the antenna band and intelligent device or component. Your third code, fire pressure controller. It says no text is available, but it's above normal operating range. The most severe level. Probably not too good. <laughs> you have your tire pressure controller. Again, as this condition exists. Tire pressure controller, once again. Tire pressure controller. And you have your forward looking collision warning system. Erratic or intermittent, and your forward collision warning saying that the abnormal update rate. Now, we don't know particularly what these codes are for, but this gives you a good idea on where to go for whenever you start doing your troubleshoot under the hood or checking circuits and fuses and this and so on and so forth. They have better scan tools that are better than this. I'll let you go in and read the individual codes, let you look them up on Mitchell Proton or on fan or identify whatever services you use. But this here just gives you a good idea on where to start. Um, that's really all we have for today, so see y'all next time.